So part four, assigning different shaders to different faces of the same mesh in the Blender Beginner Basic series. So let's assign, we've on part three, we've mixed the cement and the brick, um, but we've mixed it over the entire object using a mix shader no node. So let's do something else. For instance, say we are required to have a single texture on a top face over here and a single texture that is different to that single texture on this face. How would we approach that? Um, and the way we would approach that is assigning different shaders to different faces, but obviously not mixing them. Um, so let it, let's go and do that. For this object, I'm going to go ahead and take that material off. So what I'm going to have to do now is give it two slots. Um, for it, you'll see on the previous one, we've given this object one material slot, and we're going to give this one two material slots. So these slots are almost like placeholders, and I can load materials into these placeholders. Um, and say, for instance, I want, actually, you know what, I want another material on that face, then I'll put in three placeholders. So in each placeholder, I can now go and assign a material. I almost assign brick into that one and don't worry about it being all over we'll adjust that now in the second placeholder I'll assign cement and then in the third placeholder I'll assign material 002 which I believe was the chrome we made in the very first video problem is it's not assigned to different faces I need to assign it to different faces the only way that I can do that at this stage is by tabbing into edit mode so right now I've got to select um, the face that I want so I'm gonna hit 3 if you're using PC that'll put you in face mode 2 obviously is gonna put you in edge mode and 1 is gonna put you in vertex mode so I'm gonna hit 3 and then hit control and on the number pad I'm just gonna hit plus to expand that selection so now you can see I'm right in here um, I can probably expand it one more. No, control minus. Just subtract that one again. So now I've got a nice selection at the top, and I want to tell it assign the brick to that selection. Now I'm going to still with in face mode. Hit select that face. Hold down control. Go plus plus, um, which is the selection I want. And in that area, I'm going to hit the second placeholder that has cement loaded into it and I'm gonna assign that now you'll see the cement is the actually the mix node we made I'm just gonna edit that for the moment um, get rid of the other ones looks like the top one is our brick so I can delete that um, delete that and then delete that and that So now you can see, because I hit assign, um, the cement is assigned to our front faces. So same story again. If I want to assign material 002, let's just make this a little bit more specific. Um, double click on that and rename it Chrome. And hit a nice firm enter on that one. So right now, if I wanted to assign, I probably want that more metallic. Um, let's just look at the previewer here. It's maybe... Yeah, so tab into edit mode again. Select 3 to put you in face mode. If you're not, if you don't want to be in edge mode, I'd suggest face mode here. And then again hit control plus plus. If that is the selection you're interested in, then hit the placeholder that you want to assign to that area um, and obviously make sure that your material is loaded into that placeholder and then hit a nice firm assign and that's going to assign the chrome if I tab out of edit mode here you'll see chrome is now assigned to that face and essentially what I have now is I've got a raw brick material or a 
nice clean brick material, no mixed nodes, no nothing that is assigned to this face. Um, and I've got a cement texture that is also clean, plain, not mixed with anything else assigned to that face and a chrome texture assigned to that face, or chrome material rather assigned to that face. That's just a nice short overview, assigning different materials to different parts of the same mesh.